Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a comparison between a good old GTX 1080 versus a GTX 1080 Ti. Now, I did a video similar to this a little while ago, comparing a regular 1080 versus a 980 Ti. And I got a lot of emails from people telling them it really helped to decide whether or not to buy the card. So, I figured I'd do the same for one of these 1080 Ti's. Um, I'm also curious myself since although I've had a few 1080 Ti's for a while now I have not been able to fully test it on its own and push it to its limits or see just how efficient the card is. Um, I'm thinking they're going to be pretty close to each other. I'm really curious to see if the improvements they made on the 1080 Ti scale with the efficiency or if giving it that extra horsepower ruins the efficiency or not. So I'm really curious how we'll find out in a bit. Um, seeing how both of the cards are Pascal I'm thinking they are gonna be on par for the most part but we'll find out though. So stay tuned. Alright guys so like always I show you guys my super high-end tech setup which is on here we got our good old Z77 motherboard just essentials to get the system up and running an 80 plus platinum power supply don't worry about that cardboard on it it's just the LEDs are kind of annoying so I put it on there real quick um yeah I like showing you guys everything beforehand so you don't take my word for it so you guys can see right there we got the good old integrated graphics Intel HD 4000 and you can clearly see there's no graphics card installed back there so let's see this guy is drawing around I want to say 37 and a half 38 ish out of the wall that way we know exactly how much the card itself is pulling so let's pop one of the cards in there and find out Alright guys, so here are the results for card number one. What GTX 1080 back there? Um, as you guys can see, the setup's exactly the same. I haven't changed anything. I, I decided to do things a little different this time. I'm going to try to get both cards as efficient as I can. Um, regardless of whether the settings are the same or not for both cards. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to worry about getting the highest solutions per watt I can achieve with both cards. And after a good half an hour of messing around with this 1080, this is as good as it's going to get. Or at least for this particular card. We have a 80% power limit, a core clock and memory clock overclock of 100 megahertz. And we're getting peaks around the low 470s but on average mid 460s and I made the math and that's around 3.9 or so solutions per watt and I'm gonna have a little chart over here in the upper left showing you guys the exact numbers I'm gonna use the peak number so in this case 473 for both cards Right now the entire system is pulling around 157 watts. So the card itself is drawing around 119 or so. If you subtract the 37 and a half the system is pulling. So let's see what our 1080 Ti can do. Alright guys, as a bonus before I take out the GTX 1080, I decided to crank this bad boy up as high as I possibly could. Uh, before the card crashes and or melts on me and this is about as high as I can push it just to show you guys how high it can hash if you didn't have to worry about electricity at all so you can push this guy northwards of 560 or so 
but you're also consuming 200 watts almost from the card just not really ideal but just kind of cool just wanted to show you guys about 564 or so is as high as you can get you might be able to crank the core up a bit more and the memory clock up a bit more if you have a better cooler but these stock blower cards really aren't that great for overclocking so let's see what our 1080 Ti can do alright guys so just like the GTX 1080 this is about as good as I can get it it's kind of funny how it's about the exact same thing other than the fan speed but that's because that's a custom cooler uh, I guess it should be no surprise they're both Pascal cards they both have the same GDDR5X RAM so you know, not too surprising if you really think about it but that's about as good as I can get it 60% power limit that seems to be the sweet spot for these Pascal cards 60% power limit as far as efficiency is concerned so you guys can see we're hitting close to 590 we peaked at 592 earlier unfortunately it scrolled up a bit but Let's see if we can get it again doesn't seem like it but uh I guess we can use 588, 589 since that's the highest we've seen right now. The card itself is pulling around 197 watts. Or I'm sorry, the system itself, 196 or so. So if we subtract 37 and a half, that's around one uh jeez, like one fifty nine and a half, I think, around there. Yeah, so we're getting close to 2.8-ish solutions per watt, which is pretty darn good. So it does scale exceptionally well, just like the 1080 does. Um, I'm pretty surprised. It's almost linear. It's almost parallel, the scaling between both the 1080 and the 1080 Ti. So let's crank this bad boy up and see how high we can push the card. Alright guys, so just like the 1080, I cranked this guy up as high as I could get it before the car starts crashing or giving me false shares. And this is about as high as I can get it. So you guys can see I was able to crank up the memory a bit up a bit more and the core clock a bit more than the 1080. And that's likely due to the custom cooler the card has. As you guys can see, this goes to show just how much better a custom cooler is than the stock blower style cards. The 1080 was hitting close to 73 Celsius, I think. And, and it still wasn't done climbing, it was probably going to peak at 75 or so. And that was with the fan cranked up all the way to 100. This guy is sitting at 45 and is sitting well under 70. So as you guys can see, we're getting a 764, 760s, around there. And we are drawing about 263 or so watts. That's the card, 300 or so from the system itself, or the entire system. I think that's around two point oh jeez. Two point two or so solutions per second per watt. So yeah, there you guys have it guys. Mid seven sixties about as high as you can push a GTX ten eighty Ti Equihash algorithm. Thanks for watching guys. Uh -huh.